guys, if you enjoy reactions to anime, TV shows, and cartoons, please check us out over at our Patreon, The Goosh. It's really cheap, and it's what supports everything we do around here. So if you got a minute, I'd appreciate it. In case you weren't aware, Ainzul Gon is a Chad. A Super Chad, Mega Chad, Alpha Chad, and he has at least one of anime's all-time great finishers. Clementine was an absolute psycho in every sense of the word. However, I actually kind of admired her in that she didn't blame her homicidal, psychotic ways on any tragic backstory or anything. She's just a murdering lunatic because that's who she is, and it's often said that one must be true to oneself. So when Clementine's penchants for murder runs her afoul of Ainz, there is no option other than for them to engage in a little bit of a tussle. As the battle is about to begin, Clementine's overwhelming arrogance is put on full display. She chides Ainz, which means she basically chides Chad. She tells him there's no way that he can go with her and that there is, and I quote, a limit to how much he can piss her off. Clementine rushes in and sticks a couple blades through Ainz's helmet. She is then confused as to why that didn't seem to hurt even a little bit. And then he removes the helmet to show her that she has simply stuck a couple blades in his skeleton-faced eye sockets. It's at this point that Clementine begins to realize that she may have effed up. So now it's Ainz's turn to talk a lot of smack. As he holds Clementine aloft, he tells her that she's such a peon that he doesn't even need to use magic to kill her, and that her murder is basically just, you know, a little dalliance to him. While Ainz was gearing up to do Clementine in, I thought, you know, he was going to drop her and strike her down somehow. Instead, he just keeps holding her in place and she starts flailing at him, and then she even begins biting him gruesomely knocking out a bunch of her own teeth along the way. That part kind of sucked, because I, I hadn't mentioned this yet, but Clementine was pretty hot. And the busted, jagged teeth and all the bleeding from the mouth really kind of hurt the overall aesthetic. I mean, I, I would have still done her and everything, but you know. That whole fight scene, though, for real, I mean, it is captivating in its brutality. So when all the crap needing to be talked had been talked, Ainz decides it's time to end it and he just begins squeezing Clementine bear hug style. In an insanely well done depiction, the, the visuals are amazing. Ainz's undead bear hug just brutally snaps Clementine in half. It ends the fight in a most definitive, <laughs> disturbing manner. In conclusion, on the anime finisher scale of 1 to 10, the Einzulgon Undead Bear Hug comes in at a solid 8.7.